We're here tonight at Anderson High School with good news. The Loveland Tigers victorious over the Anderson Redskins, 45 to 12. Coming into tonight's game, Loveland was the heavy favorite with that 5 and 0 undefeated ranking. However, the Anderson Redskins were no joke. 3 and 2 record with a 3 game win streak and a very good passing quarterback in D1 prospect Kevin Rogers. He actually has an offer from Buffalo to play in the MAC conference next year. They also have a high energy offense and they tend to get in games that are slugfest. This is the Anderson Redskins. So not a great defense However, a very good offense, so kind of the hope for Anderson coming into tonight was to lead Loveland into this uh, a, a little bit of a fist fight instead of, this, uh, instead of getting beat down like Loveland was able to do previously and give up a lot of points but also score a lot of points and see how things worked out. Didn't work out for the Anderson Redskins tonight. Why? because Loveland has such a varied and dynamic offense. You were seeing new receivers come in tonight. We'll talk about that a little later with Coach Cranford. But you were seeing um, not just Giovanni Ricci as a receiver, not just Jake Elfers as a receiver, but the moves of Luke Waddell to receiver. You even saw um, Nate Slagle get a, touch, uh, a touchdown reception, his first, uh, his first reception of the year, in fact. And they also have, this is a key to Loveland's victories that you don't hear about a lot, the Loveland Tiger offensive line, the big uglies down there. That's Camden Bauke, Daniel Krusel, Peter LaChapelle, Ian Lever. Let, uh, giving the quarterback time to make plays, giving the, off, uh, giving the running backs those holes they need to be successful. Very good game and a very good season for them. Anderson was a little bit more competitive tonight than the other teams we've seen in the past play Loveland, such as the Kings game last week. Why? They have that passing attack from Kevin Rogers. He had a veritable pantheon of receivers to use tonight. And uh, you were seeing those long passing plays. In the end though, we were seeing that uh, wrapped up by the Loveland Tiger defense. This, is a this was a very similar game to Glen Esty, where uh, it was a competitive game in the first half, and then it all fell apart for the opposing team in the second half. Because as Mark Twain has quoted, history doesn't repeat itself, but it does rhyme. This game was a very similar matchup to Glen Esty, where the better team, the Loveland Tigers, just come out on top in the end. I would venture to say, in fact, that the Loveland Tigers are the Floyd Mayweather of the ECC. They can put in any game plan they want against Loveland, but it's going to be very difficult, I'll, maybe even impossible, for an ECC team to beat the Loveland Tigers this year. Let's go on to stats, shall we? Uh, Loveland Tigers, total offensive plays 445 yards against Anderson's 197. Another big game for Nate Slagle and... Um, Luke Waddell, Slagle had 184 yards, Waddell had 109. Um, and also a big game for Brian Pop and uh, Mike Weber. Pop had four and a half uh, tackles for him. Mike Weber had four total tackles in one sack. And um, talking a little bit about the Anderson stats on defense, their defense was Cody Coffey. 11 and a half tackles for him with a sack included in there. Big game for him, big game for Kevin Rogers as well, the quarterback that might be playing at Buffalo next year. Two passing touchdowns and 160 yards for him. Huge game. Biggest game of the reg regular season comes next week against Winton Woods at their place. I look forward to seeing you there. I'm Ricky Mulvey reporting at Anderson High School for Loveland Magazine TV.